Alright, in this geek tip, I want to show you some of the uses for virtual machines. And I'm going to show you on the Windows 7 operating system. So, let you give a quick history here as I open up the virtual machines here. I'm going to go to the Start Menu, Programs, Virtual PC, Windows Virtual PC. For those who uh, don't know, I originally built this system last year as a test system for Windows 7. There were two requirements I really wanted to fulfill. I wanted uh, a 64-bit uh, chipset, motherboard, processor, and I also wanted to have the virtual technology on the chip too. So uh, I wanted to get the most cores. So I went with a quad-core processor. I went with the Intel Q8400. It has both the 64-bit architecture and the virtual technology. So uh, the reason needing that I needed the virtual technology was a few years back uh, when I migrated over to Windows XP. Uh, one of my favorite programs lost functionality when I hit uh, Service Pack One was uh, on XP, and uh, I wanted to be able, to still wanted to be able to use it. It's a, in fact, I can still use it today. I actually run it on Windows 98. Let's go ahead and open up Windows 98, and I'll uh, show you real quick. It uh, it was actually a search engine program, Web Compass, and uh, it was discontinued in 1999, and uh, subsequently uh, was never picked up again. So nice little program you're able to define uh, the separate search engines and you're able to use multiple search engines in a query which was nice and then it actually came back and uh, uh, did a uh, 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 sorting by relevant relevance for you quite a cool program and, and it still runs as long as I run it on Windows 98 so um, this virtual machine has been running a little while so I don't know if I'll get the uh, the network connectivity on it or not but uh, we still have the ability to run this and like I say this, this program adds one of the course features is you can run it through multiple query through multiple search engines at one time so but of course it only runs on Windows 98 so doesn't do us very much good here now does it so we're just gonna uh, turn that down but that works for demonstration purposes but the one thing that every one of these except for the Windows 3.1 box all these have in common is they're 32-bit. You can't. There's no 64-bit uh, virtual machine that uh, the virtual PC can run or create. Uh, when it comes to 64-bit, I use the Sun Virtual Box. And the nice thing about the Virtual Box is it has a, a few extra features, uh, so advanced options. Uh, but it too can do multiple versions of Windows 3.1 all the way through to Windows 7 64 bit. So it it also will do Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM OS 2. So you know you can pretty much put any operating system you can think of inside of one of these uh, virtual machines. But the one that I put together a few years back. Now I did this just for fun. So let's just go ahead and open it up. It still runs. Some of the functionality doesn't work anymore. The, com the uh, integration components were for Virtual PC 2004. You can see here that there was an error with it. And let me go ahead. And there's no integration for the mouse on this either. So uh, we're on our own. But when I worked in architecture, and I actually trained on this version of AutoCAD, I used to 
you used to set this up a virtual machine set it up for new employees and when they come in I'd have this running in full screen mode and tell them okay you know we got a, a, a not the most recent version of AutoCAD but you know we're, we're hoping you can work with it and <laughs> I'd turn this on and yeah oh, there were a lot of guys that just freaked out because they just didn't know <laughs> how to handle this older version so it was uh it was a, a, f a fun little treat i did that just for uh for uh the sake of being able to say i did it but here's one for uh for all you diehard windows people many of you remember windows 311 <laughs> uh, I like pulling this out every once in a while and say, you know what? You know, you really don't like the version of Windows you're running. We can put version 311 on there and see how you enjoy it. And you know, just remember, keep your files to 8 and 3 for file names. <laughs> so, uh, that's about it. Uh, the usefulness of virtual machines is kind of endless, so I encourage you to look into them further. Alright, that's it for this Geek Tip. Enjoy. Talk to you later.